what it's like to go to school and find out your classmate is your twin. The two girls looked at each other in shock. Their hearts tremble the moment they shake hands. Passersby looked at the identical twins with curiosity. Their classmate was their twin and it was an unlikely fate. But they were bound together by a fencing match. Holly lives in California, USA, with her big sunglasses. She's a quirky girl. Annie grew up in London, England. She wears plaid skirts and pumps. With her ponytail, she's ladylike and gentle. But when it comes to Holly, Annie's hair is on fire. Annie and her classmates play poker together at night. Holly challenged her to a game of poker. The rules of the game were that whoever lost would take off their clothes and jump into the river. Holly eventually wins the game. Annie is surprised but admits that she has lost. She takes off her clothes and walks into the lake. But on the shore, Holly takes all her clothes away. Things get worse between the two of them. Annie took Holly's bed up to the roof and wouldn't let her sleep. So Holly sneaks into Annie's house in the middle of the night. Holly had strings all over the house. She smears the girls with honey. Even the floor was covered with oil. The next morning, Annie woke up in a state of shock. She got up and got out of bed and ended up stepping on a foot of oil. Annie's struggle to get out of bed triggered a mechanism. Numerous little water balloons fell from the sky. Annie dodged them all. But Annie didn't escape the last one. Holly hid outside the window and laughed. But the teacher soon found out. Holly and Annie were put in solitary confinement. At first they were not on good terms. They spent the night with the lights on and off. The next day, the wind was so strong that Holly's posters were blown all over the place. She tried hard to close the window but couldn't. Annie saw this and went down to help Holly. Oh gosh, it's stuck! They both laughed. As they talked, they found out that Annie grew up without a father so she lived with her mother and Holly lived with her father. Their birthdays were on the same day. They both love Oreos with sesame sauce. Suddenly they both stopped. Holly pulls out the picture her mother left her and Annie took out the one her father had left her. The two torn photos are miraculously sewn together into one. And you and I are like, like sisters. <laughs> sisters. At night, the two girls sleep together and whisper. A thought came to them. They both want to see their mom and dad. They decide to swap identities and go and live in each other's homes. They start telling each other about their lives and how their homes are laid out and how to greet the nanny and housekeeper when they see them. The girl lights a match to sterilize a silver needle. The person on the bed applies an ice cube to her lobe. The countdown ends and she quickly removes the ice. Holly pats the apple cube and she drops a needle and the other girl immediately screams. In addition, Annie had her ears pierced and her long hair cut off. Holly compares her hair to her own and starts cutting it. After a while, Holly helped Annie cut her hair short. Two months later, Holly was on a plane to London. The first person she saw when she got home was her grandfather. She was in his arms and smelled him deeply. The moment she saw her mother, Holly threw her arms around her. She knew right away that she wasn't Annie, but she didn't think it was her other daughter. Holly was so excited to share everything about camp with her mother. And she went to work with her mother. She was so happy to see your serious mom. Holly thinks she's cool. Holly was having a great time in London. Annie was a little unhappy. When she got off the plane, she saw her dad. Annie hugs her dad. Father and daughter finally meet. Her dad was taller than she had imagined. And the family estate was bigger than she'd imagined. But when she entered the house, the family dog rushed out to bark. He recognizes that this is not the same young owner as before. While touring the house, Annie catches a glimpse of her dad and a woman being intimate. It was dad's new girlfriend. The girlfriend was outwardly kind to Annie, but in fact she was arrogant. Annie disliked her so much that she jumped off the pool. The next day, dad asks Annie out. He wanted to tell her that he was going to marry his girlfriend, but he doesn't notice that she complains that the first thing she'll do is send Annie to school. Annie plays dumb in the face of her dad's asking. When she gets home, she is anxious. Suddenly the nanny peeks out at her and starts questioning Annie. She had noticed earlier that Annie wasn't eating the things she used to love. She also cannot open the door to the house. Every now and then, a word would pop up. In a trance, the nanny thought another lady had returned. Dad told Annie frankly that he wanted to get married. Annie, however, refused. The girlfriend finds help and offers to talk to Annie. She is gentle but threatening. Girlfriend threatens Annie that she will marry her father. Annie faxes Holly for help. Holly sees it and runs to the phone booth to call her. And Holly knows she has to go back. As Holly rushes out of the phone booth, she runs into Grandpa who comes after her. Holly told Grandpa and Mom the truth. She went into her room and hid under the covers and said she was going to look for Annie. 
Mom asks Holly where her Annie is. Holly told her everything. Mom doesn't blame her. She hugs her and cries with joy. It just so happens that Dad is meeting his girlfriend's parents at the hotel. The twins agree to meet at the same hotel. Man and girlfriend are kissing in a lift. Next thing he knows, he looks up and sees his ex-wife. The twins reveal everything when Mom returns to the room. Mom realizes that Dad has a new girlfriend. She's upset and walks to the pool to get her mind off things. The man is looking for her. The man falls into the water because he was in such a hurry. The man gets up and chats to his ex-wife. That's when the twins appear. The twins leave, leaving room for their parents. When the girlfriend is surprised to see them, that's when the twins appear again. That's when the girlfriend realizes it's twins. The twins had chartered a cruise ship for the evening with the support of their grandfather. It was on the cruise that their parents met 11 years ago. They wanted their parents to get back to the good old days. After many years apart, they finally talked to each other in peace. They were too young at the time. Now they both have their own lives. The next day, Dad wanted to take the twins on a camping trip. Mom didn't go. Instead, she pushed her girlfriend into the car. The twins are not happy. They spent the whole trip trying to tease their girlfriend. They filled her bag with rocks and caught creepy crawlies to put on her glass of water. At night, the twins opened their girlfriend's tent. They dragged the sleeping woman into the river. The next day, she woke up in the middle of nature. When she woke up, she screamed and she climbed up in anger. She says she wants to send the twins away. She asked her dad if he wanted to choose her or his daughter. Dad chooses the daughter and dad breaks up with his girlfriend. Back home that night, dad shows mom the wine cellar. Mom digs out a bottle of wine. Dad says it likes this bottle best because it was the wine they drank at their wedding. In the darkness? The two get closer and closer. The car lights come on. It was raining heavily when mom took Annie back to London. Annie was unhappy all the way home. But when she arrived home, it wasn't granddad in the study. It was Holly and dad. They took a much faster flight to London. Mom and dad ended up living happily ever after.